Hey guys, Dr. Josh Axer. Welcome to Ancient Medicine Today. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite pantry item, Manuka honey. You know, Manuka honey has been used as medicine for hundreds of years. Also, it's been used as food, so we'll talk about the many benefits here. And I actually think this is one of the best sweeteners. If you want to satisfy your sweet tooth, yet not cause candida to overgrow in your body, this is the best sweetener in nature. And Manuka honey itself is actually um, created by bees in New Zealand. Okay, very, very popular honey that comes out of New Zealand. It tends to be a little bit more spendy, but I will tell you that because of all of the incredible benefits, it can oftentimes be worth the price you pay for Manuka honey. Here are some nutrition facts and some things you got to remember about honey. One of the thing, questions I get a lot is, well, I thought honey has sugar and sugar is bad for me. You have to remember that sugar is not a villain. Sugar isolated, sugar consumed in too high amounts is a villain to your body. It causes chronic inflammation, causes yeast and bad bacteria overgrowth. So it's all about getting sugar in its real food form in small amounts throughout your day. For instance, here's a great example. You know, blueberries are an incredible antioxidant rich food that contains sugar. But because it has antioxidants and enzymes and nutrients and some fiber, it doesn't affect your body in a negative way. It's typically just good for you. Same goes with Manuka honey. You know, Manuka honey typically contains over 200 types of microbes. It has different antiseptic properties. It's loaded with enzymes. It has some B vitamins and other things I'll share with you right now. As you can see here, Manuka honey actually contains amino acids. So the building blocks of proteins. Contains B vitamins, calcium, copper, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, zinc, and four times that of normal flower honey of many of these nutrients, especially in terms of its antibacterial agents. So you can see here, Manuka honey is probably the most nutrient dense of all types of honey you could ever consume. And here's some natural treatments that might surprise you about a Manuka honey or some conditions it helps. Number one is SIBO, that's small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, low stomach acid and acid reflux. Now, there are studies showing that specifically the things that are found in, uh, in Manuka honey actually um, can keep uh, ulcers at bay and actually kill H. pylori bacteria, bad bacteria that causes stomach ulcers. And also, I would say of all the sweeteners you could consume with SIBO, this is probably the least damaging to the body. So SIBO, low stomach acid, acid reflux, Manuka honey is a great natural remedy. Now, when consuming Manuka honey, I typically just recommend a single teaspoon at a time or a loaded teaspoon, and that's it. Okay, you don't want to do a several tablespoons or a fourth of a cup or loads and loads of honey, but about a loaded teaspoon, whether it's mixed in tea or part of a dessert, or I'll tell you just a great dessert. Hey, mix a little Manuka honey a teaspoon with a tablespoon of almond butter, and it is a delicious dessert. So good. I think you'll love it. So SIBO is one, one, one great natural treatment is doing Manuka honey. Number two is acne and eczema. You know, acne, my favorite natural treatment for acne is mixing Manuka honey and tea tree oil or Manuka honey and Manuka essential oil, mixing those together, rubbing it on the face, letting it sit for two minutes, and then washing it off. Actually, Manuka honey has uh, actually fights Staph aureus, a certain type of bacteria that is the root cause of acne. I um, mean, it also can help balance out um, the overall, um, the, your overall amount of uh, you know, oil your skin produces and helps with sebaceous glands and things like that. So again, it's a great acne fighter. Also, it's great for eczema. You know, if somebody has eczema, I recommend mixing geranium oil with Manuka oil. Uh, or, or with um, geranium oil with Manuka honey, rubbing it on the area, letting it sit there for a time as well, maybe an hour or two, and then washing it off. It's a great thing to do there. Or you can mix a little Manuka honey in with something like a shea butter, beeswax, and olive oil, and actually rub it in the area and just leave it on there um, permanently. But Manuka honey is often found in different types of wound treatments um, or wound ointments that are, that are good for treating wounds. Number three, it is great for staph infections. I mentioned staph aureus, which is a bacteria that can often cause acne. Well, staph infections are especially infections on your skin. Now, one of the things they would do in New Zealand, as well as Australia, is they do a natural remedy where they mix things like tea tree oil 
or eucalyptus oil. They mix that in with Manuka honey and put it on an area to treat burns and wounds and cuts specifically staph infections. And you'll see our next one here, burns, wounds, and ulcers. Again, it, it is one of the most powerful um, natural remedies in the world for acting as a natural antiseptic and keeping things from getting infected there as well. So again, burns, wounds, and ulcers, great reason to use Manuka honey there. Number five, tooth decay and gingivitis. It is the sugar that doesn't cause tooth decay, uh, really, or one of the foods that has high amounts of sugar that doesn't cause tooth decay because of the very unique compounds that are found in Manuka honey. Now, when you buy Manuka honey, typically there's a grade on there. It'll say anywhere from uh, 10 plus to 12 plus to 16 to 24 plus to even up there of 30 plus, you know, when I'm consuming this as a food, I tend to do it in between the 10 and 16 plus. Sometimes I've done as much as, as 24 plus. So the 24 plus is typically used even more as medicine or just a maximum of a teaspoon at a time. But again, Manuka honey can be great for eating, fighting tooth decay and gingivitis, which could make it your go-to natural sweetener. IBS and IBD. You know, one of the big causes of stomach ulcers are ulcers that can actually line your intestinal wall and contribute to things like IBS and inflammatory bowel disease are these ulcers. And ulcers almost like a burn. Imagine you have a big burn on your skin or, or a burn and just touching it, doing things, it aggravates it. Well, ulcers, you can get those in your stomach. You can also get those in your colon and your intestines. And uh, specifically, Manuka honey has been shown to be fantastic for naturally helping calm those ulcers. And, and again, H. pylori and certain types of bad bacteria are what cause stomach ulcers. Manuka honey, those compounds kill off the bacteria that cause stomach ulcers, allowing it to fully heal, removing that interference. Number seven, sore throats and immunity. Again, when you have um, a sore throat, um, and you have that virus or bacteria that's in your throat lining and in your chest and, and even into your upper neck area, you want something that can sit there for a while. What I love is doing a remedy of lemon essential oil mixed with Manuka honey and just sort of swallowing that and letting it kind of sit in your throat, doing it every hour or so, um, getting a little bit of Manuka honey with lemon oil. Sometimes I'll mix some ginger essential oil in there as well. It's a ginger, lemon, and honey, or maybe some cinnamon um, a powder oil. But doing those oils together, really, really good for sore throats and naturally supporting your immune system by balancing out the good bacteria in your gut microbiome. Number eight, allergies and sinusitis. Now, we've all heard that consuming honey can actually help fight allergies. Now, Manuka honey does it in a different way than raw local honey. Now, raw local honey is something you definitely wanna do for allergies, but you wanna be taking it year round, okay? What happens is if you get raw local honey and you're consuming it year round, your body's being exposed to that type of pollen um, that, and uh, you're, you're building up a natural immunity over time. Now, right when you get allergies, for the first time they come on, doing raw local honey isn't as beneficial as Manuka honey. Manuka honey is the most beneficial to take the day of or if you're in the middle of uh, fighting something. So again, year round or building up your immunity year round, especially to local, uh, your local immunity, the best thing to do is raw local honey. When you're sick in the middle of it, Manuka honey is one of the best to do because it will actually help kill off any bad bacteria uh, in your body uh, that, that's there as well. So great for allergies and sinusitis, great for beauty treatment and a natural health booster. So especially for scarring, one of the natural treatments for scars is doing certain types of oils like tallow or emu oil, and then other oils that reduce scarring such as helichrysum oil and mixing those with Manuka honey and letting them sit there on a scar. Again, if you ever have a cut and you are worried that it's going to turn into a scar, what I would do is take a mixture of Manuka honey, helichrysum essential oil, okay, pretty large amounts, and maybe even a little bit of, uh, well, start with that, just the honey and essential oils. And then once it's fully f formed, um, then I would put on some other things to keep it hydrated, like a tallow, which is a beef fat and a, uh, or, or an emu oil, things like that to keep it really hydrated, along with the essential oils afterwards. But again, it's great especially to heal cuts. And if you ever get a cut or burn, I would do Manuka oil, uh, Manuka honey 
mixed with lavender essential oil immediately. And listen, if you burn your hand, you immediately want to put something on it. You rinse it under cold water and within that first minute, you immediately want to douse it with lavender oil and then with Manuka honey and keep it on it for the next 24 hours. And number 10, improve sleep. By the way, if you're enjoying this live training right now, take a minute, help me spread the word that Manuka oil is part of nature's medicine cabinet. Punch that share button, click that like button. Millions of people today are using unhealthy sweeteners without real benefits. Manuka honey tastes amazing. It's honey and it can be used as medicine as it has been for hundreds of years now. It's also great for improving sleep. Some of those scents in Manuka oil, which is also why there's actually a Manuka honey, there's also a Manuka essential oil, but it's very invigorating and uplifting. It's actually been shown to or used historically to naturally uh, fight anxiety and depression um, there as well. So, and to calm the body, it actually improves sleep. Doing a mixture of Manuka honey or a Manuka oil mixed with lavender, chamomile, and ylang ylang is a great blend to support a healthy night's sleep. So look at all of these incredible benefits of Manuka essential oil. It actually is good for SIBO and acid reflux, great for acne and eczema, great for your sinuses and allergies, great for treating burns and wounds and ulcers. It has sugar in it, but still helps fight tooth decay and gingivitis. It's good for IBS and inflammatory bowel disease, can help soothe the sore throat, fight allergies, be used for beauty treatments, and relax the body and improve sleep. As you can see, Manuka oil, it should be an absolute must in everybody's at-home medicine cabinet and food cabinet and pantry for that matter as well. And hey, if you've enjoyed this live training, I wanna say thanks for all of you right now who have shared this video here on Facebook and YouTube. And um, don't forget, hey, I'm always doing pop-ins. In fact, I'm traveling to New York here uh, this next week. I'm also going to be going to, I'm trying to remember where I'm going. I'm going to Florida and, uh, and then I'm going to, I, f I forget, Minnesota. I'm going there as well. So anyways, but I'll be doing pop-ins, my favorite restaurant, different places. So make sure you subscribe here to our Facebook and YouTube channels as well, guys. Thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.